Shalom. I'd like to say our praises due unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of whom I learned this truth from. Giving all praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. You know, and um, I'd like to say, uh, you know, like double honors to the apostles and uh, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect as to who we hope to be. And um, this is just a quick video, you know. This is just a dream that I had, you know. And um, there was like a that there was like a bird in the air. I don't know what kind of bird it was. It was like a looked like maybe it was like a like a raven or probably um, maybe a crow or something. I don't know what kind of bird it was, you know, but. You know, the bird came and in my vision, in my dream, there was a person that there was a, it said, um, the raven, he was basically, he put his head, he basically, he, he basically came and then he pretty much um it's a serious dream you know but the the raven or the the bird came you know and then he pitched up you know like the head of the person you know right and you know like openly in the air you know like the bird came and and made him flew fly up in the air and then basically you know, like the like the like the person basically like flew upon like the person fell on the earth, you know? And um his his head was cut his head was you know was cut in half. Like you no know, like from that you know, like from that raven, you know? Or the that bird, you know? So that's very spirituals you know i think you know so i know like you know maybe that's a open you know possibly you know the lord destroying our enemies you know so we have nothing to worry about man because right now there's a, a kind of chaos and confusion happening out here man and the lord's uh, is judging these people man and um you know myself myself i have to increase in more in faith and understanding you know and to not be patient i mean um, i'm like i'm like um to not be wary you know uh but to be patient you know because the lord is fighting our battles man you know and this is just a quick scripture ecclesiastes 10 and 20 you know written by which is uh, like ecclesiastes which is written by king solomon and we know who King Solomon is, was, in his reincarnation, right? It says, Ecclesiastes 10 and 20. Curse not the king, not in thy thought. You know, so, you, so and curse not, so it says, curse not the king, not in thy thoughts. And curse not the rich in his bedchambers. For a bird of the air shall carry the the voice, and that which have wings shall tell the matter. You know, so you know this is a a proverb written by King Solomon, man. So we, you know, you know, so we can't. He says, "Curse on the king." So even your thoughts, you know, is a is a is a curse, man. So you know, so you can't have that, you know, in your. Like you don't want that in your in your um you don't want to have those thoughts you know you know you know you know to blaspheme the name of the Lord and things you know that's why the Lord is judging these people man so that's why there's a lot of signs right and we have to be outside and be in tune with you know with the Lord's creations you know with you know. We have to be in tune with these, you know, you know, like with that, you know, with the spirits, you know, when I mean, you know, like with the most sides, you know, um, that creation, man.
you know it says um in uh, job get um this is just gonna be a quick thing job 5 and 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles and in seven thou sh there shall no evil touch thee you know because right now we're in the sixth trouble man you know these people they want to come you know with their draconian laws and you know and uh, you know and they're doing this thing across the globe right you know you know the devil's coming down with great wrath right it says um in seven there sh there shall no evil touch thee so yeah seven represents completion right so the lord's gonna in the seventh you know the lord's gonna you know that the lord's gonna have the you know have mercy you know so it says so it's like so so it's like that's why we have to endure until the end you know to not waver right in the famine job 5 and 20 in famine he shall redeem thee from death and in war from the power of the sword thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shalt laugh neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth for thou shalt be at league with the stone of the field and the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee and thou shalt know that thy tabernacles shall be in peace and thou shalt visit the habitation in peace you know so no so we have nothing to worry about man so we just continually you know to um you know pray for the you know the lord have mercy upon us and and you know because you know that's why it says yeah in um Job 5 23 says you know that thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field and the beasts of the field thou shalt be at peace with thee so yeah you know so we have nothing to worry about you know you just have to give thanks you know you know that we are we are in these times and um, you know prophecy is being fulfilled you know day every day every hour every second man so you know prophecy is being fulfilled so with that i say i'll praise unto i'll praise do unto yahweh bashim yahweh shai double honors unto the apostles of great millstone of whom i learned this truth from peace and blessings to the brothers out there laboring you know four corners of the earth and um you know i'm still in recovery you know you know and um pacing myself so um i'm still in recovery but you know i'm you know but all is well so with that let's just say all praises do unto you double honors to the apostles of great millstone and uh, peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect and uh shalom